<laughs> uh, just to avoid any confusion, that's not now. You're no, not no, changing no, the no, clock no. now. No, we, no, we, no, we, it's no. a week. Not yet. Um, All your horses there. And if you think we're jumping ahead now, we're going to talk about Christmas bonuses. Steph, so not what? likely to get one. Uh, no, not here. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's not news. <laughs> no. But we're talking about uh, the, the, the gender difference yeah, between yeah. women and men Apparently in terms women of bonuses. Yeah. Don't get as, as big no. a bonus, or yes. maybe we're not asking there, there for as, as many bonus. women as men. So there's new research out on it today. Let me give you the details. Morning, everyone. Yeah, as it stands, on average, men earn 10% more than women. It's something I know the government and uh, I've talked a lot about on this programme. And research out today from the recruitment site Last Door shows that less than a third of women get paid a bonus, and it's something that over 40% of men get. Now, just to give you a figure on how big bonuses are, on average, last year, it was just over £1,500. Obviously, that's an average figure and can vary quite a lot. But well, we can talk now to Sue Langley, who sits on the government's business council and coaches business women. Good morning to you, Sue. So what do you make of these, uh, these figures then? Are you surprised? Um, I'm not surprised because I think there's a, there's a couple of reasons behind that. I think one that whilst any company can pay a bonus, they tend to be paid in, in some industries more than others like financial services and they also do tend to be paid at more senior levels and unfortunately there's not as many women in those industries and at those levels. Um, but I think secondly the thing about bonuses is they, they're, they're not contractual, you don't have to be paid a bonus and whilst there are targets around them there's some element of judgment and therefore it is your responsibility to make it clear what you've achieved over and above the day job and women just don't have the same confidence and they don't necessarily do that. So do you think then it's partly a case of there are some jobs where, um, where more people get bonuses and there are fewer women doing those jobs and that's part of the reason and the other reason is confidence? Yeah, I think you're absolutely right. I mean, I think some women are put off industries like financial services because they have preconceptions about stereotypes and what it's like to work there, and they don't necessarily seek those out. And they also don't come back in, perhaps, after childcare at senior levels. But I think confidence also has a really big part to play. So what can be done about it, Sue? Um, I, think there's, I think there's two things. I mean, it's a responsibility of companies to look at who they pay bonuses uh, to, to make sure that their schemes are fair, and also to make sure that they proactively look at what people have achieved and not how individuals market themselves. But also, I think there's a responsibility on women too. Women don't like to put themselves forward, but they've just got to ask. You don't have to be arrogant to do so. It's just stating about what you've achieved and how you've gone over and above that day job. We, we've talked a lot about pay this year and the pay difference and we, we've heard from the government about these new rules to, to get companies to, to tell us the difference between uh, the, the male and female pay. What, what difference do you think that will make, if any? I mean, I think transparency is good because when you make something transparent, you shine a light on it. But I don't think it's the reporting itself that will make a difference. It's companies looking at that and understanding what drives that difference. You know, are women in more junior roles? Are they not promoting enough people to senior levels? Are the bonus schemes actually right? So the key for me is the action around it, not the reporting. Sue, thank you very much for your time this morning. Sue thank Langley you. there, and that's it for me for now.